As you can hear, Jesse is out here working on a project. Uh, let's see what he's up to. Hey, a few months ago, Halo View, that make backup cameras, reached out to us and said, hey, do you want to try out our new backup camera? We've had their old one, heck, probably four years. I don't know. And then we put one on your parents' trailer a few years ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, heck yeah, we'll try out your backup camera. So we are switching out our old backup camera for Halo View's newest and best. And there's a few upgrades on it that I think I'm really going to like. If you're installing this on a newer RV, a lot of them already come pre-wired for a backup camera. Ours is an 08, so it has not been wired for that. What I did with my previous is I removed this running light and I just have it wired in and I made this little uh, mount to screw into. So I'm hoping the new camera screws in just the same, wire in, pretty easy. It has a lot more capacity to send the signal farther, which will be really nice going down the road, being able to see what's behind. Our old one had a microphone on it as well, but the new one's microphone's even better. So it's so nice to be able to hear Kara if she's back here while I'm up in the truck, but yet she can't hear me cussing. So that's always nice. So wiring this in should be pretty easy. I've just went through and cut off the old ones just to make sure I knew what to do. And now it's time to put the new one on. Easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy. Thought I'd show you a little bit of our unboxing here and what our new system is going to look like. Here we are. All right, so to start off, I can tell this screen is a lot bigger than what we are used to. Uh, just to kind of compare with you, this is what we were working with before. And this is quite nice, flatter. Uh, our old one was a 720. New one is now a 1080. So that'll be nice and clear and more, more vision as well. Rest of the box here, this is the actual camera itself. Uh, it looks pretty similar, uh, maybe a touch bigger. Looks like there's possibly some LEDs in there. It is noting that this camera has a bit more night vision to it. And I'm sure probably camera upgrade as well. It does have a nice cover here to help protect. There we go. Also in here, some mounting brackets, dash mount, camera itself. Other side, you've got some little zip ties, uh, which we won't necessarily need. We've already got ours hardwired in. Uh, antennas to help send signal and charging station for the monitor inside the vehicle. Uh, also some mounting brackets if you want to mount the camera. And also some additional connections if need be. I wanted to share a few details of this camera setup. Uh, this is the Halo View version. It's the BT7. It's what we're using. It is a 7 inch 1080p and a 2.4G. This is a wireless system. Uh, reaches up to 984 feet. That is really far. So we definitely should be able to reach from the back of our trailer to the cab of the truck. This also has a ultra bright panel. Uh, that'll be super nice for vision. Also has full color night vision. That'll be very nice when we are pulling into our campsites <laughs> at a late hour and Jesse can still see where he's backing into. A few other details there for you. I'm not sure if you can read that fine print. We will definitely leave you a link below. You can check out all the specs, get more information on this Halo View system. Kara is just getting the new camera all unboxed. It looks really cool. Camera is way upgraded. It even has lights built into it to help at night vision. So cool. Now I'm hoping that this 
will mount up there the same way. Uh, my luck is it won't, and I'm gonna have to fabricate something. Then of course you got all your antennas, all that stuff, but let's get to it. Going through and doing a dry fit of everything right now to make sure I know what I'm doing before I get up on the ladder and have to come back down and all that sort of stuff. Here I have the camera, the wiring, so I can go run it in. It looks really similar to the old one's wiring, so that's good. I'm just gonna be able to strip these down and wire those in. It's awesome how nice everything feels on this. Everything about this whole system feels really good. Pretty slick so far. I better move this so I don't step on it because I am sure sitting there it's gonna get stepped on. Okay, uh, now to head up the ladder. Next up is just wiring in the new camera. Now run some black tape around it and see if I can get this other part all done. Now just put this all back in this hole here. A little bit tight, but there we go. All right, now this end is just gonna go to the camera and hopefully the camera will fit right here. I really don't wanna make a new plate, but if I have to, I will. <laughs> so many wires, just taking up a lot of room. So it's nice that it comes with this nice uh, plastic waterproof, you know, keep everything from getting penetrated. That, it's nice to have. Our old original one didn't have that, but it's been a while. <laughs> I think my parents did. Yeah, the new one that we put on your parents had this. And for most people, they already have it pre-wired, so this is no big deal. Um, they don't have to fabricate like this, but on older trailers, sometimes you have to do this sort of thing. No big deal. One of the fun parts of owning an RV is learning to do everything on it, because if you have to pay somebody to do all this, it costs way too much. And it's not that hard. Most people could do this. I mean, you need a screwdriver is basically it, and maybe some wire strippers, but no big deal. All right, so it's gonna go just like that. Then we'll figure out the angle. Oh, did you just drop your screw? <sighs> of course. I got one here. Okay. <laughs> of course I dropped the screw. What happens? <laughs> Son of a bee. <laughs> All right. <sighs> you gotta go find those now. Yep. Luckily, they blend in with the rocks. Okay, I'm gonna. I need to pre-drill a hole. So apparently, new camera does not match up with the old camera, the holes. Uh, so we've got to do a little more fabrication. Jesse went to go grab a drill bit so he can drill some new holes and hopefully get this camera mounted. A little bit of a change of plans. Instead of using my, instead of using this like that, the new cover basically covers the whole thing pretty good. So I'm going to scrape off, I'm going to scrape off all this old silicone and get this cleaned. And then I can just put it right on here without that metal piece. And I think that'll be good. I'll just silicone around it once I get it up there. Now the fun part is just stripping all this off, but I think it'll work pretty good that way. So I'm just going to go through and scrape all this off. Uh, get some rubbing alcohol, try to clean it up better. That way I have a good surface to stick to. Jesse, when's the last time you cleaned the roof? When it was resealed. Resealed? How long ago has that been? Three years, I think. Three years. It's pretty gross. Well, add it to my list of things to do. 
any thoughts on what we are going to do with our old system? Uh, I think we should text Jed, see if he wants it, maybe Tyler does, because it's good to go. I mean, all the wires are out. They should be able to hook it into there, so no problem. No reason to just throw it away. It's perfectly fine. It worked great, so at least last fall it worked great last time we <laughs> used the trailer. So I don't see why it wouldn't be, you know, good to just give to them. They get a free camera out of it. I, I bet they'll take it. Let's try this again. If we'd hooked the truck up, but we could test it before I do any more, but we haven't backed the truck on and all that sort of stuff. So just fingers crossed it's gonna work. One problem with full body paint on a trailer when you do something like this, there's always these little areas that didn't get painted. So you have a little bit of white there, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, right? I think it looks pretty dang good though. If I do have to say so myself for a not a professional. Super easy though to put on here. Now I just need to run my antenna cord up over and we'll be good to go. The antenna on this camera is way shorter than our old one. Our old one, we had to run clear up halfway up the trailer. It was magnetic. So I just glued a piece of metal down to the roof and then I just, boom, done. But this one's way shorter and it just has the 3M sticky stuff. So I'm just gonna have to stick it up here. The further distance this one sends the image, uh, I guess I don't need as much antenna cord. So I, I wish this was magnetic here because I just glue, glue a little plate down and then in the winter I can take it off really easy. Um, but this 3M stick, uh, I don't know what I'll have to do every year. Maybe I'll have to get a magnet and stick to it and then put something down. But for now, we'll just clean off the roof and stick it on there. See, the roof's not that dirty, Kara. <laughs> that is gross. It really needs to get washed. All right, that should stick. Let that dry for a second. All right, well, we'll give this a shot. Does your, before you stick that, does your cord need to be straight? No, it doesn't matter, it's just a cord. Okay. Well, yeah, that wouldn't affect it. Okay. Okay, we'll see if that'll stick down. Just let it sit for a second. One thing I'm gonna do though, to get some of the slack out of this cord, I'm just gonna wrap it around twice. No more slack that way. I know it doesn't look the best having this cord come down here, but what do you do, right? Um, you do have your little zip tie thingies in the box too. I mean, we could stick one here to hold it down. Let me grab one and see. Maybe not a bad idea, Kara. I'm just gonna stick it right here where I already did. Oh, okay. Thanks for watching out for me though. Mm-hmm. Bada bing, bada boom. That's pretty easy. Really old silicone. Might be all dried up inside. We'll see. Just do a little dot around here. Wouldn't hurt, right? Yeah, that might all be junk. Yeah, need a new tube. <laughs> all right, we'll come back out and do that. Now that the camera's all wired in, time to hook up the truck and see if it works. First dry test of it. This new screen is so much bigger and nicer. Really interested to see how much better it is. After getting our monitor all dialed in and paired with the camera, obviously Jesse is trying to get it angled, obviously, so it's not, you know, in the sun. All right, of course, we'll have to get this a little more dialed in. But I think overall that is a pretty good view. How's it working? As we're driving along here, Kara's playing around with the camera. What do you think of it, Kara? Um, I like that the screen is a lot bigger. Oh, it's so much better. Um, it is still the push button, you know, tab, 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 enter system. It's not a touch screen, Which, but- it would be nice if it was touch screen. It would be nice, but it's not really necessary. Because once you figure out like, which one's your enter, which one's your menu, which one's your up down, you, you know, yeah. it's easy to navigate. I'm gonna run back here and change the angle on the camera. 
to see if I like it just a little bit better. Um, I think it's pointing down a little bit too much. Just knock it up a little bit. Yeah, it was pointing right at the ground earlier. So that'll be, I think, a better helpful view for him. How's that look, Kara? Yeah, I can see a lot further. Yeah, back. now you can see down the road where before it was just like right there. Yeah. You get an idea of people coming. So if you wanted to, you know, turn on. Yeah, it would help with people coming up behind you. Back from our little drive around testing out the cameras. So far, so good. Using the backup camera this time was quite helpful. Uh, I could yell at Jesse, tell him left, right, more left, more right. <laughs> uh, move forward, I gotta move my blocks again. <laughs> All that kind of conversation that we have, like literally yelling at each other um, through the window. <laughs> so this was a lot easier to use the system. He can see me. Um, sometimes he can't see me in his mirrors when I'm shuffling um, our little blocks that he drives up on. Uh, so made it nice, a lot smoother. <laughs> I can use my signals more left, more right, straight down the middle. Uh, this time I could actually tell him. So how was it this time? It was really good. Uh, the bigger screen helped a lot. It has good sound quality, mm -hmm. which was nice because I could hear you back there. I need to figure out the angle on the back because driving down the road, I like to tilt it up so I can see back a ways. But backing up here, I think I needed to turn down a little bit. Or I needed to step back. Well, even, even then, I, I was just seeing the lawn. So oh. if it was turned down, I could see the, oh, the driveway yeah, more. Yeah, the angle you're coming in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It'd be really cool if it was mechanical and we could remote control it like beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's asking a lot. Yeah, that's asking a lot. You aren't getting that for the price of this. So if you're interested in one of these, click on the link down below. They, they make a great deal on them. They have sales all the time. Just click on the link. They'll take care of you. They have the blind spot monitoring. They have the backup cameras. They are, when it comes to RVs, in our opinion, the best in the business. So. Go ahead and check them out, click the link, you know, they'll they'll make sure you get a good camera. As always, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all those sort of things. Uh, and remember to enjoy your weekend, because we're gonna head out this weekend and enjoy ours.